The ocean is our life support system. We need the ocean to provide us with food, buffer climate impacts and protect our livelihood, especially as we face the rapidly accelerating ecological crisis and the climate emergency. But for the ocean to provide effective solutions to these challenges, marine ecosystems must be healthy, productive and abundant. And here's the problem, they are not. The 2030 OSPAR strategy is our last chance to seriously tackle marine pollution and destructive fishing impacts in the Northeast Atlantic. Oceana supports the ambition of the 30 by 30 target for marine protected areas, but this must result in real biodiversity protection. We can no longer afford to designate mere paper parks which do nothing more than harm the credibility of our conservation efforts. The 30 by 30 target must also be combined with at least 10% of the ocean under strict protection and with a particular focus on protecting and restoring carbon rich habitats. In addition, we need more ambition in reducing single use plastics entering the ocean and to mitigate climate change, which includes safeguarding the seabed's role as a natural carbon store. Dear OSPAM ministers, the countries in the Northeast Atlantic are among the most developed and prosperous in the world. Ten years ago, OSPA was a pioneer on marine protection when it created the first high seas marine protected areas on the planet. As the negotiations on the new United Nations framework for biodiversity proceed, the world will be looking to you for leadership and ambition. Please don't let us down. Now is the time for commitments and for real action. We count on you, OSPA ministers, to once again put the Northeast Atlantic at the forefront of global ocean protection. Thank you.